But first of all, let's deal with the spat you've had with Shane Mosley. A guest on this sofa, a friend of the show, one of the nicest fellas in the world. You've not been upsetting <laughs> our pal, have you? <laughs> oh, you know, I used his name in example, kinds of, kinds of like privilege. Yeah, you know, yeah. it's, he, he was calling another like middleweight world champion out not so long back. So I said, imagine he starts calling me out. Unbelievable. I'm yeah. proud that, he, that he's calling me out. That's what I thought I meant by it. And, and I got home and I seen loads of things. He just jumped on it and then he was just being a bit of an idiot yeah. about it, to be honest with you. You got the saying, wrong end of the stick, Yeah, then, you? you know, yeah. and I just thought, you know, have a bit of respect. I didn't slag you. And he said, you know, I didn't hear about, I, I didn't know Liam until Sunday morning. You followed me on Twitter for over a year. You didn't know me. <laughs> I know it's social media, but just stop being silly about yeah. it. You're a man. Because, you know, in all fairness, what Shane should have done there is say it'd be a privilege. You're a yeah. great young champion. You're a test for me. It's a big test for me. Yeah, like, you know, if you'd have done it that way. Bundage, everyone knew how, how much I was chasing the Bundage yeah, fight. Yeah. I, was, I got massive respect for him. Come out the ring, got a lovely tweet off him saying, Bingo. Um, you know, I knew you had the goods to become a world champion. I thought, that, well, how nice is that? He's just lost his world title. Yeah. And he's tweeted me saying that. He could have easy, he could have easier tweeted me saying, uh, now let you fight me, now you're a world champion or something like that. But he never, he tweeted me, I knew you was good enough to always be a world champion. Well, and he's just lost his name. world title. That is a good fight for you, yeah. Bundridge. Yep. I remember watching Bundridge against Ishii Smith. I was screaming that you would beat either yeah, one of them. Yeah. That was, was what well, he meant to go, wasn't it? Particularly there? angry in the studio. <laughs> um, but particularly irate. Uh, so, when it comes to December 19, um, would you and Joe sit down and sort of send a list to Frank or look and talk to Frank? Because, you, you know, is there anyone in your mind that you'd fancy? I mean, you say, you know, I'd love to fight Brian Rose or I'd love to fight, you know, Bunvis. Who would you like for December 19? It's a homecoming Any, quotes yeah, as well. It's a defense, you know, yeah. say the, a, a quick defence, you know, Brian Rose is a big fight in the, in the UK again. It, the, the bill's going to be in Manchester, so that would be a fight I wouldn't mind. But I'm, I'm going to sit with Joe and Daniel and... You know, we'll, we'll discuss the top ten in the WBO rankings see and then we'll get. send something to Frank and see what Frank can do. Yeah, we'll just, but it's going to be someone in the top ten. And